The Stone Age was a time in history when early humans used tools and weapons made out of stone. It lasted from when the first stone tools were made by our ancestors about 3.4 million years ago until the introduction of metal tools a few thousand years ago. The Stone Age is divided into three periods and the exact dates for each period vary across the world. The Old Stone or Paleolithic Age lasted from the first use of stones until the end of the last Ice Age. The Middle Stone or Mesolithic Age lasted from the end of the last Ice Age until the start of farming. And the New Stone or Neolithic Age lasted from the start of farming until the first use of metal. The term Lithic comes from the ancient Greek word for stone or rock. The Paleolithic period is defined as the Old Stone Age. It comes from the Greek words palaios, meaning old, and lithos, meaning rock or stone. It lasted until about 10,000 BC. Humans subsisted exclusively by hunting and gathering, and because of this, they were nomadic going from place to place following the fruit supply. Paleolithic people provided us with a great deal of art in the form of cave art and Venus figurines. Let's take a look at some examples. This is a drawing of a horse found in France and dated to be about 17,000 years old. Animals were the primary subject of cave art. Let's move on now to Venus of Willendorf, found in Willendorf, Austria. This was somebody's idea of art about 27,000 years ago. The name Venus comes from the Roman god of love and beauty. Not to worry, you have a strong point if you're doubting the beauty side of this picture. Our best guess is that our ancestors were attempting to represent the beauty of childbirth and wanting children. Moving on now to the Mesolithic period, coming from the Greek words mesos, meaning middle, and again lithos, meaning rock or stone. It lasted until about 6000 BC. In this period, there is really not a big change as far as being hunters and gatherers is concerned but humans became better at what they did. Domestication of animals played a big part in this period. Humans began not only hunting and gathering, but also there is evidence that fishing played a huge part back in the day. People were still nomadic because they were still chasing the food supply. And then we have the Neolithic Revolution period which is distinguished by agriculture and settled communities. The term Neolithic comes from the ancient Greek word Neo, meaning new. This period is estimated to have lasted until 2000 BC. People now know how to grow crops and they can settle somewhere and domesticate livestock such as cattle, sheep, goats, and pigs. People now have figured out how to keep their food supply in one place. One of the most complete Neolithic communities that we have access to today is in Karo Hoyuk, found in modern-day Turkey. It dates to about 6000 BC. Some of the art found is easily recognizable as being Neolithic, 
by simply noticing the fact that tamed animals are present. Archaeologists have been able to reconstruct some models of how people lived in those times. And you'll notice that communities were built close to a water source, livestock was present, and fields for agriculture were also important.